वेलकम एवरी वन इस सर्किट डायग्राम इज सोन हेयर सो थ्री वाल्व आर हेयर ए बी एंड सी एंड दिस थ्री वाल्व आर आइडेंटिकल वाल्व ओके आइडेंटिकल मीन्स दे आर पावर रेटिंग्स आर सेम इफ दे आर कनेक्टेड टू द सेम वोल्टेज दे विल जेनरेट सेम जूल अमाउंट ऑफ हीट एनर्जी इन अ सेकेंड एंड ऑब्वियसली द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द फिलामेंट्स आर सेम आइडेंटिकल so when the ac is closed when the switch ac is closed then this causes a change part a is the illumination of the three bulbs that means they are talking about the intensity they are talking about the power okay and the power dissipated in the circuit so two things are given here but here we have to just what we have to do we have to just find it out the change so at first you have to see what is initial initial means when the switch is not closed when the switch is not closed then and when the switch is closed then okay now the when the switch is open okay when the switch is open then um if i just replace all these bulbs with the identical registers of value r let us say this is r this represents the bulb a another registers uh that is another r this represents the bulb b and another register it represents the bulb c so these three registers are in series when the ac is open that means uh i am connecting this capital v directly to this circuit okay i am connecting this capital v directly to this circuit so i is the current which is coming out from this cell it is flowing through r through these three rs and there is no change in the current since they are connected in series so if i try to find it out what is this equivalent resistance by simply adding this three we get three r okay if i try to find it out what is the current that means the main current we can say this is v divided by three r okay and this main current flows through all these three valves okay all these three valves if i say this is uh, the this is the potential drop across the bulb a this is the potential drop across the bulb b and the potential drop across the bulb c all are equal why equal because the resistance are same the current flowing through are the same so we can say i multiplied by r so very simply it becomes v by 3 so whatever the potential v that is equally divided that means the potential drop across the bulb a is v by 3 potential drop across the bulb b is v by 3 and the potential drop across the bulb c is also v by 3 so this is the thing now if anyone try to understand that what is the power dissipated through this bulb obviously they are equal because the potential drop across the bulbs are equal and resistances are all equal so we can see pa is the uh, power dissipated through the bulb a pb is the power dissipated through the bulb b and pc is the power dissipated through the bulb c all these three are equal here and what is this value this value is simply we can say v by 3 whole square divided by r that means we can say that is v square divided by 9r okay now if the switch ac is closed obviously uh, current will follow or flow uh, we can say the least resistance path and if the switch ac is closed then what is the equivalent circuit so if this one represent the bulb a and this one represents the bulb b okay then and this one represents the bulb c if the switch ac is closed then this path is connected this path is connected if this path is connected and this is the su power supply voltage capital v then what will happen the current which is coming out from the battery or the power supply flowing through the bulb a flowing through the bulb b after that it just flows through this because the current always try to follow the least resistance path if it 
if it want to flow through the sea through another resistance path it have to flow through the high resistance path that's why we can say this thing is completely open circuited or through this the current is not flown so the equivalent circuit if i want to do then i can make this thing completely cut off from the circuit okay so whatever with the current that is flowing through this loop that is flowing through this loop okay so now the equivalent resistance if i want to find it out now the equivalent resistance is simply the algebraic sum of these two that means r plus r the series combination of the resistance of the bulb a and the bulb b that is r plus r that is 2r okay so uh, if you want to find it out what is the current main current now okay i have to give prime here because now the main current is changing and the main current is the supply divided by the equivalent supply is not changed but the equivalent is changed that's why it becomes v divided by 2r that is v divided by 2r okay <coughs> so after that if i want to find it out what is the what is the current uh what is the current through this that is the v by 2r same current flows through a and b the current we have obtained what is the power the power through them obviously same because uh, the if i try to now again try to find it out what is the potential drop across c and across b are same but the values is different because the current becomes different okay because the current becomes different resistance is same um current is also same but the current is different from that of the previous value previous value is v by 3r now it is v by 2r so the potential drop is now v by 2 we can say now if i try to find it out what is the power dissipated so that is pa prime should be equal to pv prime because the power is simply v square by 2r the resistance of the two bulbs are same and the potential drop across the two bulbs are same so we can say this is simply v by 2 whole square divided by r resistance so this will become v square divided by 4r please try try to find it out what is the uh, difference between the power so previously previously the power is v square by 9r and through the three circuits so if i try to find it what is the total power dissipated so the total power dissipated is pa plus pb plus pc and if i just add then v square by 9r will be three times so i am multiplying three here and i am saying this is v square divided by 3r okay now if i try to find it what is the power through the circuit then that will be p prime that will be equal to p a prime plus p b prime plus p c prime and here Point to be noted that PC prime is zero because no current is flowing through it, so it is zero. And for the rest of the things, V square by four R, V square by four R, and here also it is V square by four R. So it becomes V square divided by two R. Now if I do the comparison, that is capital P divided by P prime or P prime divided by P whatever be it, P is V square. divided by 3r okay and p prime is v square divided by 2r so simple mathematical calculations will be there like this way so v square v square cancels out r r cancels out this become 2 by 3 so we can say p is to p prime okay 2 is to 3 okay so this is the thing that means if i want to find it out what is p prime p prime equal to 3 by 2 p that means a new power is 3 by 2 times that of the previous power if i want to find it out what is the change then we can say that is the del p and the del p is p prime minus of p what is p prime p prime is 3 by 2 p minus of p So we can say one by two, one by two into p. 
that means if I want to find it out what is the percentage change the percentage change is given by del P divided by P into 100% and that if I put the value of del P that is 1 by 2 into P divided by P into 100% that means the answer is 50% is the power is changed by 50% Thank you, I love you.